Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, just thinking about it uh, and the number of times that the court commissioner has seen my wife. Yeah. The number of times that you didn't protect my right to due process, Judge Rohr. Mm -hmm. The statute defines family or household members, a spouse, former spouse, persons who have a child in common. Yeah. Uh, whether they've been married or lived together at any time, adult persons related by blood or marriage, adult persons who are presently residing together mm -hmm. uh, or have resided together in the past or have had a dating relationship, person 16 years of age with whom mm -hmm. uh, they've had a relationship. You know, um, without actually seeing the petitioner, yes, mm -hmm. you can't say that a family member filled this out as difficult as it is to believe that I would sue you for issuing a protection order that's been used to arrest me numerous times, yes, you didn't actually see the petitioner, did you? Then you don't know if it's my spouse, coach. You don't know if it's the mother of the five minors named, yes. And you said, well, we're going to issue it anyway for the protection of the women and children, right. And somebody else took it upon themselves to act as if they don't have to be a household member. But you do. Mm -hmm. That's what the state statute says. <laughs> now, all of this writing, yes, it could have been a court facilitator. Yes. Mm -hmm. But unless you see the actual petitioner, you can't say that it was the actual spouse that I have or had. Mm -hmm. Now, I know Judge Orr would disagree with this, but when you don't require me to... Uh, mm -hmm. We, we, we are actually still married. I just want Clallam County to understand that it's a United Nations marriage certificate. The United States does not have reciprocity with the United Nations. They have a membership mm -hmm, in the United Nations. <laughs> it's not a nation-to-nation -nation agreement. <clears throat> so we are still married and you are still obstructing me from divorcing my wife. Not seeing the petitioner means that you do not know if it was my actual spouse. Mm -hmm. And when you issued it using forgeries and fraud, yes, everything that's written on here has not been visually court commissioner. You did not see the petitioner. Mm. And since you didn't see the petitioner, there's no way you could know that she was my spouse. Now, uh, the grounds for the issuance of a domestic violence protection order? Yes. Without seeing the actual spouse, the mother of my five sons, there could be no grounds for the issuance of it. Mm. See, when you don't know it's the actual member of the family, yes, then you can't say that you're issuing this for the good of the spouse or the children. Yes. Now, yesterday, witness here and sign here. Ouch. I'm going to sue the fucking shit right now. You did not actually see the petitioner in court, did you? You took it upon yourself to issue a court order where it wasn't a family member that petitioned the court. Yes. You decided to arrest me for multiple crimes I didn't commit. Yeah. And you refused to remove your court order that has numerous fraudulent statements. Yes. Is in an incomplete document. Yeah. Did not protect my due process rights. Yes. Has not protected my sons. <laughs> and it wasn't a family member that actually filled out the information. That means that you as a court commissioner had no grounds for the issuance of a domestic violence protection order. The individual had to appear in court, yes, and had to acknowledge it, and you did have to see the individual as an actual family member. Mm. Now, these petitions uh, of the court since 2011, mm -hmm. I talked to you about jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to tell you that if she wasn't there, pooch, you don't know who the fuck filled this out. And it wasn't a family member. Mm. Now, it really doesn't matter mm -hmm, the grounds for the issuance of it if you don't know right stalking of one family or household member by another family or household member. <laughs> See, there's this idea of the physical bodily injury assault between family or household members. Mm -hmm. If my family, my wife by marriage, the United Nations marriage certificate, yes, did not appear in court and did not acknowledge your order, yes, there is no possible way that you could say that she was afraid of domestic violence. 
because the family member wasn't there. Now, um, the filing deadlines, yes, mm -hmm. statute of limitations. <laughs> Washington law places no limitations on the time within which an abused party must file for a protection order. Yes. Now, what's really interesting, because I really thought about that, mm -hmm. there is this concept of time that the state of Washington, if you don't require the family member to appear in court, mm -hmm. you don't require the family member to fill out the information. Yes, you did not have it available to certified copies. Mm -hmm. Recent acts of domestic violence are not required. Now, I was arrested on Guam. Yes, and my record was expunged. <laughs> I know that you could say, well, the petitioner must only show present fear of harm based on past violence or threats of violence. And you, the expense versus Kaminsky, yes, Barber versus Barber. Mm -hmm. You know, this thought that the petitioner could keep running in the court year after year after year and saying, well, I'm still afraid. Mm -hmm. That does not negate your obligation for me to have notice and opportunity to be heard. Mm. The right to uh, submit to the court the evidence that my arrest record was expunged. Yes. And whatever the petitioner shows as fear, it does not give you the right to obstruct my right to father my sons. Okay. Now, a lot of these women, they have this real fearful experience where they abduct children. Yes. And then they say their husband. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But there was no crime scene, yes. Mm -hmm. My wife had actually purchased plane tickets and left the island that same day. Yes. Had me put in jail, poop. abducted my sons, mm -hmm. ran to Clallam County. Yeah, you issued a protection order with no jurisdiction, no arrest, no crime scene. You did not have, have any evidence at all. And you never had any evidence. All you've done is you've taken this woman, yes, and you said, well, we have to issue it because she's still afraid. Oh. And then we have to issue dissolution of marriage. And we don't have to enforce the laws. In fact, we don't even have to require a family member to appear 